minimizing charisma, maximizing intelligence, shooting someone in the crotch with a cannonball, thrust, propulsion, it's sciency. <laughs> Why you always gotta be blowing my spot up like that? There are my runes. There they are. I'm not mad. Science needs art and art needs science. They both need each other to function properly. There are ways to figure out what the paper is really saying. And then I'm ready to get on Twitter and yell at people about doing their own research on the oh! Oh, Hold on there, sports fan. Kyle Hill, everybody! He's the next generation of science communicator. I'm gonna be too old at a certain point to do those terrible things to my body, and it'll be up to you. He's got like a lion. <laughs> this guy's amazing. Kyle Hill. I'm Boo Rambo. The universe is indifferent to you. Whether or not you have amazing hair, the universe doesn't care. How are trees pushing past this pressure limit? Ah! Behold, my balls. Ah! Now we're getting somewhere, but I still don't think it's worthy of G.R.R. Martin suspender. I'm totally right, right? Oops up photos of my my frickin' hair? Is that what you all want? No, you don't, weirdos. Kyle Hill. Is your last name actually Hemsworth? What's going on? Our, our resident Thor no. lookalike. I prefer uh, Black Friday Chris Hemsworth. Oh, thank you. Hey, you know, if you need a haircut. No, of course not. We're not going to send sharks with frickin' laser beams on their heads to an asteroid. We're going to nuke. You don't need Bruce Willis at all. <laughs> Wrenched. Oh! oh! Headshot! Oh! Kevin, turn on the monitor. Kevin, this transition better work. The blast doors can't. Kevin, turn it on. Ke Kevin, and Kevin, call his agent and have them call my agent. Kyle Hill. Happy birthday. Feliz Navidad. I'm just a biologist. I don't know how this works. This is how you do science. Can I just grab it? Oh. Laws. Corollaries. <laughs> <laughs> I know that global catastrophe isn't the most fun thing to think about all day unless you're me, so... Are we gonna do some science, bro? <laughs> Lasers don't have that much momentum. That's not how a clockwise works. <laughs> Don't worry, you can do this even if you are not an AI. It boots the boundary layer around a person to identify. And I guess it matters what kind of dragon we're talking realize here is that the big of the thing does This kite is completely inaccurate. I'm gonna kill this guy and tell him to his face. You're wrong about physics! Not enough lift force. Oh. Nuclear metal donut thing with magnetically confined star-like plasma. The radiation flux in here alone is enough to cause instant death. That's really funny. I like that idea. Hey, look at me. I'm a streamer. I have a bedroom. We know anything with a decapitation hazard deserves to, uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh that's good. Oh. That's fine. Put it on PBS. I dare you. Hello. Apparently, more of you think there are wheels than doors in the world. Hello, and welcome to the Kyle Hill Gaming Channel. That's me. And our Scientist Plays Excursions. If you haven't been here uh, before, if you're just coming over here from the stream we just did, which is why my voice is the way that it is, because I was screaming at chat, what we like to do here in the gaming command center of the facility I like to sit in front of two 27-inch curved OLED monitors, two 75-inch monitors behind me, PS6 in the background. We got it all here in the gaming wing. What we do in the gaming wing is what I call scientist plays. We are here to play games that I enjoy, um, obviously, and uh, more often than not, science fiction-y kind of games that we can, unlike a Neil deGrasse Tyson, take some learning moments out of and have fun doing so. Um, if you want to check out my J, my blah, 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 it's live. My day job, it's the main Kyle Hill channel where we make science videos, but today we'll be gaming for the next 90 minutes or so. Why, Kyle? Why do you have to stop at 6 p.m. wherever it is? Because work-life balance, I stop at 6. Okay. So, if you're, um, what are we playing today? Says Leah, who asked for a box of my hair earlier. Leah... You weirdo. We're playing on the screen 
to your right, Vampire Survivors, a new indie game. Well, a recently, it's a recent indie game. Uh, it's a roguelite. It's pixel, um, pixel art. And um, I've sunk about 20 hours into it. Um, over the last two days, I'm hooked. Why? Because it's simple to play. You hardly have to pay attention. Well, you do uh, when it gets more crazy, but it's simple to play. It's deep in its mechanics, um, it's like uh, Hades in that way. And on the, and uh, on the screen, you get thousands and thousands of enemies, depending on how long you can stay alive. Um, Vampire Survivors on, is on Steam, no? Yes, if you want to buy this game, I'm just going to send out our tweet about it and tag them. Um, if you want to buy this game because it looks fun, it's only like $3 on Steam. And I know I'm playing it right now on stream, but I would recommend it because I have put in a bunch of time uh, just mindlessly destroying zombies and whatnot. Um, it's a lot of fun, as you will see. If you like it, check it out. But what we will be doing is seeing how much science we can te we, we can tease out of this game as we play. Have you been playing Abris? Yes. So uh, we'll do that maybe next time. But this is the one that I was sinking my time into, Captain. Um, how will we do that? <laughs> well... Join me in the next room. Ah! So, uh, you may notice that the resolution of this game does not get to my entire projection screen. That's fine. It's, uh, the resolution is not important about this game. Um, but this game is incredibly fun. Um, basically, because what I like to try to do is mindless destruction and violence. But like I said, um, this is a roguelike game, so you can, uh, as you progress through the game and a number of different stages in the game, um, you can select a number of different characters which all have their own starting bonuses and or weaknesses. Once you confirm a character, there's multiple stages, multiple difficulties, multiple different... Um, song selections you can get you have a collection here that you can do your unlocks you can all these different achievements you can do in the game um and you can power up your characters you see i've been playing quite a bit um to make your base character as you go into a level again a little bit stronger okay if you turn off damage numbers it'll pro improve the quality of the stream hmm. we'll see we'll try it once and then we'll see okay so what are we doing today? Well, we'll be trying to get as much science time out of this game as we can, and I promise you, science time will come. It always does. But I want to show you kind of a highlight reel of what this game is all about. So there's one level and one character where I can consistently get to the end. The end of each level is uh, survive for 30 minutes. Now, by the time it gets to 30 minutes, there will be so many characters on screen, um, you will not, you will hardly be able to tell what's going on at all. And it's very fun and chaotic looking. I should note, for any photosensitive viewers out there, there is a warning at the beginning of this game, so there is flashing lights. I went in to the options, I turned off the flashing VFX here, so hopefully... It won't be an issue, but if you are photosensitive, I give you that warning. So, I'm going to choose um, Poe, who has, um, let's just call that garlic. Yeah, that looks like garlic. Who has a clove of garlic here, and garlic gives a, um, a static AoE boost. So, any... Uh, Monsters coming near me will take a little bit of damage if they try to come near me. I will use this to steamroll my way to the end of this level, okay? I know it's literally called Garlic Mark. I'm making a balls joke. So I'll be going to the library where the, um, the, uh, there's a ton of enemies right away. Time limit, 30 minutes. I'm going to... 
I'm gonna do this faster so it even looks crazier, okay? On hyper mode. Okay? Now, you know what? I'm gonna let the game I'm gonna let the game speak for itself, okay? So here we go. A scientist plays Vampire Survivors. So I've played this game for enough time now that what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try to go for a very specific build, okay? So I've found a build um, that brings me to the end of the game. And that build is a certain combination of weapons and their upgrades. I'm not going to try to explain every single one as we do it, but you can see there on the left side of your screen what we are upgrading and not. So I'm going to go... As you can see, I like this um, garlic buff at the beginning of these levels because it can, uh, I can basically just stand here for these beginning enemies and it's a good way to get experience super quickly. Now that is a slowly or, yes, I see what you're saying, Kyle. Kyle, isn't that just a slowly orbiting book? How would that ever damage these, I don't know, sewer ghosts? Well, a book moving radially in that velocity, you know, you get sma- uh, I mean, look at the size of the guy. It's making one revolution- It's making one revolution around that man. One, two- See, you know, it's like half an RPM, something like that. Not half an RPM, but- It's like one twentieth of an RPM with- with a book that's the size of a Bible, you know, it might, it's a decent slap in the face, which means these ghosts aren't very strong. Now, I don't like also paper cuts, mud monsters. Yeah, see, none of this fits, none of these upgrades fit my build right now, so I'm gonna go with armor because why not? But I don't want to. So on the top left, there's only five slots, so you can only have five weapons and five. Uh, modifier. So uh, if I pick something and I get five, and I don't want and I don't want one anymore, too bad. Um, the King Bible is kind of OP in this game, but what I want to try to do is um, level it up quickly and then level up its area of effect and its speed, so I can keep even the boss monsters away from me. Now, there's one thing specifically I'm going to try to do. Once you get some of your levels on your weapons up in the top left corner, up to level eight. If you have the right item, and then open a chest, you will evolve that weapon, and it will become crazy on screen. And that's what we're going to try to do for all of our weapons. Now, do I try to go for all the weapons I want first, or we try to upgrade them first? Well, I know for this level, it's mostly going to be low-level crap, so we're going to get some more weapons. There's a green gem on the table, Kyle. Oh, there is. Nice. Green gems worth more. Red gems worth more than that. What I like about the garlic build is that for the low-level enemies, before they get a lot of health, you can just do this, baby. Now, the boss enemies will drop chests. And um, that's what we want. But they don't show up. They only show up at certain time intervals. Remember, we're trying to make it for 30 minutes. And if this just looks super easy right now... Trust me, it's going to get nutso crazy in just a few minutes. The Stink Strat? Says Leah L. They already have names? I'm not a Stink Strat. So I'm making some of these decisions correctly, uh, not correctly, very quickly, as you saw, because, um, I know the build that I'm trying to go for. Now, I... I'm not a I'm not a god gamer. I'm not saying it's the it's the best build there is or or best weapons or whatever, but it is the one that I can consistently get to the end of this level. And remember, if this looks easy right now, we're we're still only a tenth of the way there. Captain Dagon is calculating it at already <laughs> already 80 RPM. He is one of our bosses, a big zombie. Oh, see, okay, so it gives you a little sound indicator, but you can see I kind of want to avoid them because the first hit of my garlic doesn't kill them like it kills the tree bees. 
But you can see why the, um... You can see why the Bible is so useful. Because it knocks them back and they stay out of my zone! You may not be a god gamer, but you are a god at hair care advice. Ho oh, ho ho! The really infuriating part of it, uh, Necron Nate, is that mostly it's genetics. I wake up like this. Taking a little bit of damage, that's fine. I want to keep- see, so he drops a young chest, and if I get luck- <laughs> If I get lucky, I'll get more than white item. No, just one item. Blackbird singing in the dead of night chat. Ah, getting hit. So, there's also items that you can get on the ground. Um, and I'm looking for floor chicken. There we go. That restores my health. Um, and this is just like the normal-ish mode. There's also other modes you can do to, um, change your experience. But I'm just gonna show you basically why this game is enjoyable to kind of just zone out and just... Last night I was closing my eyes and I saw these... I just heard this noise. Die! For these first few minutes, if... We, we can talk to each other, Chad. For these first few minutes. Um... Because I have two AoEs going on. The Bible and the Garlic. And that will render me invulnerable. One of the characters in the game is a dog. I'm sold. But this is a good thing. Like, you can do this while doing other things. And for a game... This decently deep and fun for three bucks on Steam. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now you can start seeing... Remember, we're going for 30 minutes, chat. We're at five. Uh, we're at five, and so there's going to be a lot more enemies showing up in just a few. Right now, basically what we're doing is taking advantage of these low healths I want the other bird. Now all I'm looking for is also Santa water. No, not the water that Santa brings around. Consecrated water! We're taking advantage of the low health enemies here to get all the items that we want very quickly. What kind of dance are we gonna do? Normal dance. The game is actually being developed by someone who used to uh, design and code for slot machines, quite literally injecting the science of addiction into it, says Captain Dumpling. Um, please, I tweeted directly at that person you're referring to, so please retweet my latest tweet if you want them to see us do this thing. What other science can we talk about right now? Um, why are some things considered uh, good against monsters? Why are some things considered good against monsters? Like silver, for example, is considered like a holy metal that is good against werewolves and assorted monstrosities. Um, oh, okay, we want this. This is gonna level up our garlic. You can see the little image there. So the next time something drops from a chest, I might get my leveled up life stealer garlic upgrade. Now these guys are higher health, so I can't just run into them. Um, silver has, before people knew what properties silver really had, people observed that silver metal had some antimicrobial properties. And that, now we know, is because of how the silver nanoparticles interact with the membranes of bacteria and viruses. Or maybe just bacteria. But it has the effect, these silver nanoparticles have the effect of just killing um, bacteria, making them antibacterial, and so, whether they knew it or not, back in whenever, you know, people thought silver was a holy metal, um, because of this property that they observed, it was considered something holy, something beyond the physical, and this got tied into myths 
about monsters and such, which is why some things like silver are considered anti-monster. Dan Tank's right on the money. Um, almost. Okay, so eh, stay away. Eh. If a full person exploded like that, like this, eh, stay away. Like that, that exploding woman just there. Um, a human has a lot of raw energy. Oh, I'm not paying attention. These guys have too much health to be destroyed in one pass, so I'm gonna need to eat some floor chicken. Um, humans have a lot of energy in just caloric energy. Um, if you found a way to release that- Oh no, I'm dead, because I'm not focusing. Okay, just one second. If you- Floor chicken! To me! If you released all that caloric energy, uh, you could, like, just like one person or so could feed a T-Rex for a day. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of calories in a person. Of course, if you translated all the person's energy, uh, mass directly into energy, you know from E equals MC squared, that would, you know, destroy the entire city. But I was talking about calories that you get from eating people. Okay, so here's another big green globo. Oh, I'm not... <laughs> chat, I'm looking at you, I'm not focusing. Gotta be careful, especially when... It, like, it looks like I can go forward, right? But um, those enemies will actually wrap around. Is that floor chicken raw, or has it been slap cooked? Well, I, I slap it, I slap the chicken with a Bible enough until, uh, it's cooked by the Holy Spirit. Also keep in mind, this is hyper mode, so I'm, enemies and I am moving a lot faster than we usually do. Yes, level up that Bible, slap these amalgamations of goo skulls. <laughs> okay, see now, now, well, now we got a lot of enemies showing up on screen. Got to be careful because it's even hard to see. People in the chat saying I had to turn the the damage numbers off. No, it's satisfying. How in our body we make heat? Is it some sort of process that releases energy as heat? Um, everything. Everything in the universe follows entropy. Entropy being the tendency for everything in the universe to move towards disorder rather than order. And that uh, energy follows that process. So you'll never have a more complicated or organized form of energy going to something more organized than that, by which I mean there's always inefficiency. You will always have heat loss in any interaction of anything. And so when your body, that's why nothing can, nothing in the universe can be a 100% um, efficient or uh, a perpetual motion device because of entropy. And so, uh, a good example for, uh, a good example to visualize this is like, the more organized energy bound up in the chemical bonds of firewood. When that energy is released, the energy goes into a much more disorganized form, which is the flames. And the less ordered the energy, the harder it is to take advantage of for us. The damage number is destroying your bit rate. What is the terminal velocity of a Bible, says Jared. Um, I don't know, probably less than you because it does depend on mass. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so you get hot, your body makes heat in the same way that uh, heat is generated from fire. When your body breaks apart the chemical bonds in the sugars you need to live, um, part of that process of breaking those bonds is a release of energy. Some of it is inefficient. It's disposed of as heat. If you didn't dispose of that heat, you would die! 
Um, <laughs> the terminal velocity of a Bible. This is wow. This, it's hard to look. Look at how much crap is on screen. Ah! It's hard to do both. Ah! Give me that Santa water. Um, the terminal velocity of a Bible. Terminal velocity is directly calculable. It is the. Ah! It is the velocity at which the force of gravity, weight, is counteracted fully by the drag force. And so you can simplify that equation to get a single equation for terminal velocity. But, um... Uh... Coffee. Um... For a Bible specifically, you need the mass of the Bible, you would need, uh, and the uh, shape coefficient for the Bible. Just use a book, and then take the mass of a Bible that you'd find in a hotel room or something. Um, hey Kyle, recently saw your video about your superpower, it felt like you were also talking about me, and you helped me understand myself better, says Shall Grace with the five. Shall to be involved in your life in any way, in any positive way, I appreciate it. It's the best praise I can get. Um, the best praise these zombies can get is to die. Got another monster here. We're a third of the way through this level, chat. If it already looks like there's a lot of monsters on screen, ho ho! Just wait. My eyes are going crossed. <laughs> So it's hard, because in real time, in, in, like, very quickly, you have to judge whether or not the damage you're doing is enough to, to kill the enemy, because if you move into them, they just touch you and do damage. There's no projectiles in this game. They just touch you and they do damage. Now, I think it's past ten minutes, so now, inside of this, will be an upgrade for our ball garlic, I mean. And it's a life stealer, An AoE that is very powerful. Life stealing garlic, baby. Here we go. The Soul Eater. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. You can. Oh, there are projectiles in this game, yes. Um, that's my bad. Now, the other thing, I'm so I'm trying to evolve the cross and the Santa water eventually. Definitely before like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, I don't know what the crap on screen. Um, but the, another thing I'm trying, oh gosh. Another thing I'm trying to do is uh, get both birds to level eight. At level eight, like Goku and Vegeta, they fuse into a rainbow bird that does crap tons of damage. So I also want that. Sometimes you get like, super rare or mythic drop from this, but I haven't yet. Santa water. Kyle, what's your stance on the Celsius-Fahrenheit debate? Celsius is easier to deal with. If you're doing any kind of chemistry or, or science-y stuff, um, because Celsius, because Celsius is all based uh, around the reference point of what water does at certain temperatures, it's very useful for chemistry and mixing stuff, etc, etc, etc. So, um, zero in Celsius is the freezing point of water, 100 is the boiling part point of water, and makes it very easy. Cross level 8! I don't know why they went with Santa water instead of holy water, they said. Well, maybe they didn't want to say holy, and maybe it's a Spanish game. Like Santo Domingo. Saint water. Santa water would mean saint water. Floor chicken. No, 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 no. Okay, now I know these purpies, these purple guys, have a lot of health. So let's see how much we can push in. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to boost my drops. Team Kelvin, sorry not sorry, says Katie Blade. Well, that wasn't the question, Katie. It's easy to be for something that's not in the question.
Scent of water is ho ho holy. Says the Dawzak with a cringe inducing joke. Thank you. I want to start. I need an attractor orb for my water, but I also want to increase the area of these attacks too. We just evolved our cross. It is now the Holy Cross of the Hillman, which is me. You'll see it fly out, do a bunch of damage. Now, chat, doesn't this look satisfying and kind of fun to you? Look, look at how much crap I'm doing on screen. You can easily get lost in this nonsense. Especially, like, I had to look up, like, okay, how do I level up my weapons? Because it doesn't tell you anything. It happens, um, you just do it by accident, then you look it up, and you're like, oh, this is deeper than I thought. Um, yeah, let's get the attract orb so I can get my orbs from further away. And then evolve my Santa. Saint Orb. Yes, look at that. Oh! Uh, remind, I also need the speed. I need the, the tome to reduce my cooldowns so that my Bibles... We're, all, we're not even halfway through this level. <laughs> Once the cooldowns come down, the Bible happens constantly. And I won't make it to the end of the level without constant deflection. Because there will be so many enemies on screen at one point, you can't see the floor anymore. Kyle is doing the crack that is Vampire Survivors, says Q, Q Neutron. D my dude, I've put in 17 hours in the last two and a half days. And I'm doing other stuff. I'm working. But also this. <laughs> and yes, it is um, incredibly addictive. The sounds, the colors, the satisfaction of destroying literally 10,000 enemies in 14 minutes. Oh no! See, this is what I mean. Very oh gosh, there we go. Um, do I really? Mm, do I go for? Okay, I'll do. It. Oh, cause uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Candelabra, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can upgrade my axe. I can get that later. My eyes. Cool down. Throw the Bible at him. Oh. What kind of dance are we doing? Amber Brooks says there's even secrets hidden in every map. Yeah, at the end of this map, when you do it for the first time, there's a big arrow pointing you in one direction. Um, and at the end of it, you get, like, little uh, bonuses and stuff. I don't think your build will survive past the 25-minute mark massacre, says Floaters. Challenge accepted. You, know, you, 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 you doubt my build, Floaters? We'll see. How much gray I have in my build? Aria likes it. I don't think you're filled with sleep anything. I'm floaters. We're halfway through, chat. Oh, Gorgon lady. See, look at... See how the, the... The Bible acts as like a denial of area? You need that or I'd be instantaneously swarmed. Build's not gonna survive. I'm Floater Man. Yeah. Let's we'll see, won't we? If he beats the challenge floaters, you legally need to change your name to Kevin. Except, yes. Stefan Bura says this game seems so much fun, right? It's so. It's so. Um, I will. If we beat this first trial, I'll show you another level. 
Um, not all levels like are like this. This one specifically has a crazy, crazy amount of enemies um, and experience the, the experience points. So you level up super quick and you get super crazy weapons super quick. And so they can throw 15,000 enemies at you. Some of the other levels are much slower and they're much harder um, because you're leveling up slowly. And so you have to pick and choose your upgrades. You have to run away from it. I'll show you the next level. Um, you have to run away from enemies like your life depends on it. Not like I'm doing now. Right now, basically, I'm doing like a boss rush kind of thing where I'm trying to get the right build to make it to the end. And you'll see at the end, it's so much stuff on screen, it doesn't even make sense. I mean, I know it's already at that point. <laughs> Give me the sounds. Stay away from the snake lady. What do I have up? Uh, I need two birds. And then I need to open this box. Oh, I could get that bat. Ah! Oh, no, I got greedy. I got greedy. Now I need to find some floor chicken. Um, no birds. So I'll just get this. Oh nice, it even has controller support. Yes, I'm playing on controller right now. Um, I was doing it on mouse and keyboard, um, but you're making so many tiny adjustments that uh, it started to wear my wrists out. So, um, yeah, playing on controller with this amount of um, control over diagonal movement is much better much better and it's only you don't press any buttons it's just it is literally just moving the joystick and it's still a joy to play ha <laughs> put it on your box more chicken time stop stand in the middle of you <laughs> yes you fools bird Okay, we're still. Floaters gave us a challenge. He says, "He says, Kyle, your build that you're doing isn't gonna survive past 25 minutes." <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh oh, exploding women. And now I just had some Taco Bell, and it's coming out the other end. Over there. 25 minutes, that's it? No, we have to make it to 30 minutes. Oh gosh. <laughs> Still need one more of the white bird. Not yet. Maybe I'll get lucky. Yes, more Taco Bell. Oh, nice. And floor chicken, which is cooked by slapping Bibles at it. Okay, so we have another boss. Some Katie Blade with the 10 says, You said the thing in the facility. Thank you once again. Hope you have a great night. Katie, thank you for being on both streams today, not just the normal science stream. But also the gaming stream, I appreciate you being here for both. Which, we, I've never done this before. I've never done um, uh, office hours directly into a gaming stream. And I, I think I'm, I, I'm doing it because I'm, I've been ignoring the gaming channel too much. And it's because I don't want to get up and set everything up in the facility and just do that. So I'm taking advantage of having just done office hours and being in the mood for streaming. And just hopping onto something else. If I get one more bird from from a level up, you can see the upgrade. I need one more burbo. So hopefully if I you know, when I feel like I'm committed to streaming for office hours, I should just 
hop on and stream on the gaming channel too. Hopefully they'll make it so we do more of both. Self-raid from one channel to the other, says Koopa. Koopa, uh, YouTube has a function that says redirect viewers after your stream to a different stream. And I tried that. I put both streams scheduled, and when I tried to redirect from office hours, I couldn't find this stream. So I'll try to figure that out, and then we'll get it going next time. Doing consecutive streams like today, it allows you to stay hot and in the flow. It says Sins Arcade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also, you know, already committed. There we go. Okay, so Bird. Then this should be Mega Bird. The Zord of Birds. Do you usually play games after an office hour stream? No, I usually start drinking. And then maybe games. Okay, so now you will notice the rainbow power of my bird. Cool thing is, once you get your bird, it frees up a weapon slot, and you can upgrade the bird. So the bird is super... The bird upgrade's very strong, in my opinion. Oh, there's Satan. All right, great. Okay, so now we have our cooldown all the way up. Yes. So our Bible should be going nearly constantly, which will keep away the big green devil here. And these exploding women. Hopefully. And now it's just a matter of... I want an axe, and then I want to upgrade everything else we got. Because the axe will upgrade with the candelabra that I also have. Kyle, why do you know so much about this game? It's because I got obsessed with it for a little bit. So is it beer or wine inside this cup? This is water, I'm not a psychopath. Okay, Oh, we have to upgrade our Santa water too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. This is maybe a mistake. Yeah, it's a mistake. Mm, is it? Mm. I'm gonna take it. I haven't done this one before. Ooh, the axes are big. I think because the axe upgrades. Let's see if we get lucky here. Maybe. Damn. Oh, my neck. I'm looking at chat all day today. Okay, I think we can... I think we can do it. Remember, Floater in the chat said, You'll never make it past 25 minutes, you fool. At 25 minutes, there is a enemy spike. I'm worried that I didn't get enough... Okay, let's try to get more... Yeah. Word that I didn't get enough upgrades for other weapons. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. There's an enemy spike, but there's also an, an experience spike. With so many enemies come so many little uh, crystals on the ground. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's a bit convoluted compared to how Twitch does it for redirecting live streams. Well, I, I think I can figure it out. I think. Maybe if I just schedule the stream earlier, the gaming stream earlier, then YouTube will actually be able to find it. We shall see. We haven't had science time in a little bit, huh? We're gonna get super lucky from our next drop, because our luck is up 100%. 60% of the time, it works every time. I don't live stream. I'm watching you. Says Michael Skinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I know. We're all here. Okay. Yeah. We're less than three minutes out from a difficulty spike that floaters challenged us with, and I'm not getting crucial upgrades here for some of my weapons. So I really don't want floaters to win. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Gonna grab this and this and this. Uh... Yep. Let's see if we can get lucky. Lucky! Lucky indeed. 
three upgrades instead of one. You can also get five upgrades instead of one. Ah, so much. Uh, Jabo says, SOG just destroyed Neil deGrasse Tyson like 20 minutes after your vid, too, was a pretty good takedown. SOG? Uh oh. Less than 120 seconds out from an enemy spike. And I need some upgrades. I need some Santa water upgrades. So getting a little, little close on that. A little close on that. Mm hmm. We can get one more upgrade before I grab that box. It'll be nice. Uh -oh. I know the sound of all these orbs dropping is simultaneously very satisfying and very annoying. That's part of it, you know? Floor chicken! To me! Come on, one more. Santa water? Yeah! This. Oh no, here they come. Can I grab this? Uh oh. Uh oh. I haven't gotten one bird upgrade. I might, floaters might be right about this. Because I really need. <laughs> ah! Look how much crap is on screen! go like that almost to the fabled challenge mark look how much crap is happening isn't that satisfying <laughs> that's why it's so addictive there we go bam my sword just cleaving through them like a scythe through wheat ghostly wheat I, keep, I have a low-level axe because if we get to the end, we can level it all the way up and evolve it into something that I've never used before. I think I think it's actually a scythe that can cut through these enemies like frightened wheat. Uh-oh. Took a lot of damage here. Uh-oh, this guy. 25 minutes. We're there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh! Not good. Not good. Not good. Uh oh. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh -oh. Yeah, there's so much crap. At some point, there's so much crap happening on screen, you can't even tell what's happening. Uh oh! Stay away! Giant wizard man. Oh, lady. But stay away. Eh. Stay away. Stay away. Die. I need to cut through you. Yes. Yes. That's the Santa Water Evolve. Looking good. Looking good. And now, you shall see blue everywhere as it expands. Look how much- <laughs> yeah, it just wipes them out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, the ultimate goal, chat, is to make it to 30 minutes. And at 30 minutes, Death himself shows up and kills me. 
the intensity is starting to freak me out, says Leah. I know. That's the whole that's the whole selling point. Yes. Rainbow Burb, do your worst. Yeah, I know you told me to turn off the numbers, but it's so satisfying. Bam. Sergio, thanks for the subby. I haven't been able to kill Death yet. <laughs> he instantly kills me, so. Okay, still doing good here. Need some more burbs. Nice. We need burb up to. Oh no! This is where you really. See, this is my build is almost all area. See, there's no, like, direct projectiles. It's all an area around me, and this is what it's for. <laughs> this is what it's for. I just died on the dairy plant with 45 seconds left, says Bob Smith. Yeah, dairy plant is hard. I haven't beaten dairy plant yet. Ah! Stay back. Okay. Axe will be upgraded at the next drop. I've, I don't know what the axe upgrade is. I've never seen it before, so I'm excited. I just need someone to drop a box. Bird? Pal, how many more enemies can appear on screen in the next two minutes? Just wait. How is this only three dollars? I know. This is just one level. There's multiple levels. Fifteen characters or more. So many unlocks and stuff. Level seven. Okay. Yes. Okay. Axing it up and axe down. Haven't used this one before. What is it? Death Spiral. Let's see it. Where is it? Yes! Yes! I am invincible now! Less than 120 seconds until the level is over. I don't see... <laughs> I don't see anything making it through this, this spiral. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at that. I think the AOE strat is smart. It means your brain has less to do, says Leah. Yeah. No, like like I said, this is fun to play while you're doing other stuff because it's easy. Um, if you're doing AOE and you're not thinking as much. If you're constantly running around, that's what you want. All right. So now that I have every single thing upgraded, each time I level up, it's either going to offer me money or chicken. And this is when it starts getting insane. 90 seconds left. And they are going to throw literally everything at me. But I have one, two, three, four, five weapons upgraded, so I don't, there's no way. How do they, they there's no way they can get through this scythe that cuts through them like wheat. Look how many enemies I've killed so far. 31,000. All right, at not, at 29 minutes, there should be another enemy spike. Let's see. Ah! Ah! Now they're throwing all only boss enemies at me. This is where I I start to get a little uh, claustrophobic. You cannot defeat my sight. It looks easy, but keep in mind, I'm ready to move at any instant here. Dip. Dip. 30 seconds, chat. Only 30 seconds. Yes! Look at the damage output! 
What I like at the end is it actually does show how much damage you, de you dealt. See, my AoE build is fine, floaters. Level 99. Level 100. 15 seconds. Until death shows up and kills me. But at 30 minutes, you have beaten the level. So that's fine. Yes! I can survive any onslaught! And... Then death kills me. Uh, so at the end, it shows your stats. Look at that. Uh, DPS of the was the hot, death spiral was pretty crazy. Uh, the Santa Water eight thousand damage per second. Um, but the bird look four point three million damage. Pretty nuts. Each one gives you little achievements and stuff. You know, you can get so many different little achievements. Oscar Martinez super chatted with the 499. Can't believe we have a new Kevin joining the fold. <laughs> That's right, floaters. You now have to legally change your name. <laughs> so, chat, uh, we'll be playing through the next level. I'll show you the next level. It is it is completely different pace, the next level. Or, or the previous level as well. Um, totally different uh, pace. Is it possible to beat death? Yes, apparently. But I haven't beat death. If you've just joined us, we have been playing Vampire Survivors, an indie game that has gotten a lot of praise recently. A lot of... Uh, Kotaku said it's one of their favorite games of the year so far. It's $3 on Steam. As you can see, it's a lot of fun to play if you like collecting stuff, mindlessly hacking and slashing through monsters, you like pixel-lated games and supporting indie developers and a good soundtrack and pretty deep stuff and blah, blah. Hey, hey, if you like all that, it's $3 on Steam. We are doing Scientist Plays right now. That was so intense on the eyes, probably wasn't the best thing to see before going to sleep, says Koopa. I know. When I close my eyes, sometimes I can see the little the little crystals. Actually, I can see them right now. That's probably not good. But what is good here is Scientist Plays. If you're new to the channel, we like to play games where we can tease out some science from it. Um, we've... And I'll have videos on the streams that weren't fully archived, but we've played... Half-Life 2, we've played through Fallout 4, and Bioshock, and Sekiro, and a couple other games, that I, uh, Elden Ring, Halo Infinite. We play through these games while trying to bring you science time. We've already talked a little bit about Vampire Survivors in terms of the rotational velocity of Bi the terminal velocity of Bibles, the antimicrobial properties of Silver. Yes, here at the facility, we can find some science to enjoy in just about everything. <laughs> Basically, we're like anti Neil deGrasse Tyson. Have you played Apex Legends? Says, not a chance. Um, yes. I spent six hours and couldn't sleep when I first bought it, says Bob Smith. I did, I, I did the other day wake up and it was the first thing I did. Um... Post Malone says he wants to play Apex, so we'll play it once we hook up with him a little bit. He's like, hey man, you play Apex? <laughs> He's a gamer. How many wheels on your gaming chair? Six. The science of exploding ladies intrigues me. Have you considered Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri? A lot of science and story. Oh, we got a lot of we got a lot of games we have to catch up on here. Scientist plays. I know. I have a list. I still I want to play through Titanfall 2. I want to play through Fallout New Vegas. I want to play um, Horizon. I want to play 
so many other things. Kyle Hill, Hill science, the unscienceable. How many doors do you have in your gaming chair? What, yeah, what is the back of my gaming chair if not just a closed door for my back? You insane people. Um, I was gonna say something. Posty is do awesome? Yes. Um, so for the, actually, this is going to work out great. So we did this for a half an hour. We're talking. Uh, we're sciencing. We're enjoying ourselves. Uh, I got another half an hour in me. Uh, you were going to tell me I'm pretty. That's what I forgot. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Got about another half an hour or so. Good thing. Vampire Survivors just got another sale. Thanks, Kyle. Says, in the chat. Hey, you're welcome. If you like what we're doing here at the facility, gaming, show that you like both this and the game by retweeting uh, the tweet about it. Because I tagged them. So we have about half an hour left. So I'm going to show you. So some of you, just by definition, most of you haven't played this game. Um... So what I'm going to show you now is uh, a different level, the first level, what you will be introduced to when you start playing the game, if you start playing the game. And as I said, the pacing is totally different. Um, a lot more running away from stuff. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start with a different character that I haven't beaten this level with yet, and that's going to be Porta, because he has a lightning ring, and lightning is cool. Not. We'll show you the pit. Eh. See how hard this is on me. Oh right, I don't have my frickin' garlic. I haven't done this without garlic in a long time. Um. So now. Okay. So now I have lightning powers. Garlic, great. Now I can just stand here for a second while I talk about lightning. The, the interesting thing about lightning is that we haven't... We, we know how it proceeds. We know that it has to um, break down air. We know it has to um, have a breakdown voltage in air that allows a conductive channel of plasma to be created through which charge can flow. But based on how long tendrils of electricity can come out, based on how long these get, and how much voltage you actually need to break down a plasma channel that long? The breakdown voltage is too high. Even lightning doesn't get to that voltage, and so lightning is not yet fully explained. I think I explained that correctly. Hmm. I don't want... I don't want the fire one, I don't think. Okay. So, different pacing. So, like, the, see, these guys can hit me. It's not like the last level where the, for the first five minutes everything just bounces off. No, I have to avoid... See that? Some of those guys. Um... Does lightning make ozone? Yes. Um, ozone is O3. So instead of O2, um, oxygen is a diatomic molecule. What diatomic means is that it exists naturally in a in in pairs. So like O2. Um, that's why you always hear O2 and not just O, because it exists. So like atmospheric oxygen is O2. Um, other diatomic molecules, or other diatomic atoms, rather. Uh, you can remember the, what I was taught, which is Brinkelhoff. Ah, uh, B-R-I-N-K 
H O F. So, um, Brinkelhoff is bromine, iodine, nitrogen, potassium, or the or might be coal, C L. No, yeah, yeah, it's, it's C L. Sorry, not potassium. C uh, uh, bromine, iodine, nitrogen, chlorine. Hydrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Bam! Science! Floor chicken. More floor chicken. See, the pacing in this game is good, so when I have some AoE like this, you'll have some enemies you have to run away, and then, um, then you'll kind of give you a bunch of easy enemies to kind of get your level up, which is just, you know, little design decisions, which are nice. Now, even though... I defeated floaters in the chat, and their name is now Legally Kevin, and they are embarrassed, and they should be embarrassed. Um, I don't, with this build, I've never, well, with this character, I haven't gotten to the end. I've gotten to the end with my AoE uh, Garlic Stinky Boy, but I haven't gotten to it. Superfly Johnson, do you play any strategy games? Have you tried Endless Space 2? No, I haven't. I'll put it... See, now these guys will not die on one garlic hit, so I can't just stand them. I want to get I want to get lucky, Chad. I want to get lucky from uh, from the chest that this bat is going to drop. I like lightning, but because it kills enemies far away and not necessarily like wreck directly next to you. You have to run out of your way to go get that stuff, so. Not my favorite. favorite. Eh, I'm looking at you. I'm having garlic with my dinner right now, says Jason. <laughs> wow. The webs we weave, huh, Jason? You know, I just want to I want to say, if you're enjoying what we're doing right here, on the gaming channel, which we've been kind of ignoring. If you're enjoying it, and you want to see me play more games, not just like this, but like Elden Ring and uh, Titanfall and Fallout New Vegas, which I know everyone wants me to play Fallout New Vegas, subscribe to the gaming channel. I'm not going to spam you like I do on the other channel with the community tab, which is all memes. Highly curated, I might add. Um, you will just get notified when we either go live or put up a new video, and that's it. You can also join the facility, patreon.com slash Kyle Hill, and you get updates on everything. Better yet, you'll get access to our official Discord in which we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of incredibly nice and helpful nerds who talk about everything from climate change to their pets to the latest memes. I couldn't do everything I do without them. A number of you are in the chat. Jason, Captain Dagon, Platinum, Jay, I see you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. All three weapons. Nice. Um, you owe me a spell table or I win by default. You should, uh, New Vegas is the best game ever. You should put some Magic the Gathering content on your gaming channel. Exactly. Now that we're going to do more gaming stuff, maybe. I'm trying. Um... It's a perfect place to put Magic the Gathering, which you know I'm a huge fan of. Um, I'll be going to Vegas in a couple of weeks or a month or two um, to play IRL and to do some stuff with Wizards. Um, I also have, in next week, in the middle of next week, I have a preview card for the new set, and it's a banger. And if you come to the Discord, I might... No, I can't. I legally can't tell you what it is. But it's actually quite good. And you will, you will probably play it in high power. Um... Anyway, I have an idea for a Magic the Gathering show, and I could start doing it on the gaming channel. But that takes effort, time, and more money. So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's about... Everything in my life, chat, is about cost-benefit. It needs to at least pay for what I'm putting into it after a little while, and then hopefully more so. Um, so right now, I mean... We're doing this, we're doing office hours, we're doing the main episodes, I'm doing all in influencer crap. 
And so to do a whole nother show, that would probably take, you know, hours of editing. It needs to, needs to make sense for what we're doing. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I also don't need to do another show. You know what I mean? So it would be, it would, something, it would have to be easy enough to do, uh, be popular, at least after a little while, and, um, be something that I really enjoy doing, you know? I enjoy playing this game, that's why I'm doing it now. I don't super particularly enjoy Elden Ring when I played it, that's why I'm not playing it right now. <laughs> I'm not doing so bad with this, with this lightning ring, you know? Um, I just got my arcane secret lair, Magic the Gathering tie-in. Oh, now the green boy is coming. A giant praying mantis. Chicken. There he is. Um, I just got my arcane collaboration with, uh, with Magic the Gathering, and, uh, it has, like, Ristic Study and, uh, Seize the Day and other cards I actually do, uh, what do I usually do here? And other cards I actually do play, so that's cool, because Arcane as a show, so much better. Hmm, I can see Kyle ending up with an editing team like Linus. Uh, I don't edit my own videos. I have had a Kevin that I've worked with for the last five years or more who edits everything. Um, I have an editor, I have a secondary editor, I have someone who works on stream graphics, um, I have an assistant. We're, uh... <laughs> I'm the CEO of Kyle Hill Inc. It's a f <laughs> we're a real we're a real we're not just sitting here with neon lights in a bedroom chat. It's not business, man. I'm a business man. Get it? I'm sure not doing so bad with this uh with whatever. Like how is this? Yeah. These green guys are usually at this point, they're supposed to, you start to run away from them because they have so much health, but this lightning is zapping it up in zap town. Thank you for being so entertaining, says not a chance. Don't thank me. If I, if I don't, I don't do things I, I don't enjoy or I don't think that are impactful. If you enjoy it, that's fantastic. I'm just trying my best. You wouldn't be here if you didn't like it. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're here. Business goal! Yeah, baby. This is a full-time job! Weird, huh? You ever played D&D slash Are You Interested? Blake, I've never played Dungeons & Dragons. I know, I know, I know. Everyone shut up. But, um, it just wasn't something that I ever got into, um, or was exposed to. Um, what I was exposed to from Wizards of the Coast was Magic the Gathering, so I've been playing Magic for over 20 years, and I have a dollar amount in the, in, in the five figures worth of cards. Um, so that's kind of my main thing, and what I love about this job, I mean, I'll be, ah, oh, bats! I mean, I love educating people first and foremost, but for the nerdier aspects of the job, when it comes to video games or Magic the Gathering or whatever, if I do my job well, I get to interact with the people and properties that I really love. So um, just trying to do my job well, I now work professionally with Wizards of the Coast. That's amazing. Um, but that being, uh, I say that to say this, since I'm kind of in... I have a foot in the door in magic influencing because I really like it and I enjoy it and I talk to people about it and I have a different audience than they do. I'm kind of staying the course as like the science magic. The, hey, that, he plays magic, right? I don't want to like keep the brand strong initially and then you branch out. I'm actually not doing too bad here. I, uh, I'm usually running around a lot more. Ha! <laughs> Eat garlic, you dumb bats. 
Um, I'm going to talk about this in a video I just filmed two days ago, Chad. But do you know what's absolutely fascinating about bats and echolocation? Echo... Echolocation actually independently evolved in multiple creatures. Independently evolved in bats and dolphins. These mammals couldn't live more differently, and yet they came up, evolution came up with the same solution in what's called um, convergent evolution. We will get more into that in an upcoming episode. What is that episode about? Crabs! <laughs> because everyone was talking about it. They're actually doing really well. At 10 minutes, at 11 minutes in this level, a veritable sea of bones shows up. We'll see. Is that like how everything turns into crabs? Yes, an entire episode on that. <laughs> Keep the brand strong initially and then start branching out. Solid business advice there, Kyle. It says Arate. It, it actually is. Too many... See, see, you want more... This is all... Come for the gaming and the science, stay for the business tips. Now, this is all free advice, Arate. But honestly... If you want to start doing influencer kind of stuff, if you branch out too quickly and you do everything, you take advertisements for everything and money from everyone, then your brand gets diluted. And for me, being a science boy, my brand lives and dies on the perception of my expertise on certain topics. If you don't believe, or if you don't trust me to know what I'm talking about science-wise, why would you ever watch a video about me talking about black holes or whatever? So, I very diligently accept and don't accept. I turn down a lot of, of money. I turn down a lot of opportunities because if it's not sciencey at all, or it's not educational at all, it will dilute what I'm trying to do with my business and with my life. So I turn those down to keep the brand up. And in the long run, if you carve out your brand and your niche enough, you become established enough that you can, you can start making more money than you ever would have if you tried to do everything all at once. And the people who do that, another thing for me, again, being perce perceived as an expert on some things or at least an intelligent guy on some things, if you do everything, then suddenly I'm gonna be I'm gonna be perceived generally as just a face. Just a guy talk a host. Just a host. And that's not what I wanna be, and that's not what I wanna do. I want to have an, a specific impact, so then I have to think specifically about what I'm doing. Like Raid Shadow Legends, says Joey Zoom. I have turned down Raid Shadow Legends no less than ten times. For all the aforementioned reasons. Yes, they will pay me thousands of dollars. But it will actively hurt the long-term business plan if I start being perceived as not caring about what I'm promoting. Because I don't play that game. I don't play mobile games. I don't care. I don't care about that game. I, you know. And it is widely perceived to be kind of negative when you take those deals. And so that's not what I'm trying to do about being smart about your perception. You have to, to be a successful artist in my mind, you have to be willing to look at yourself from an outsider's perspective. You know you, but what do other people know about you? That's what you have to unfortunately contend with. You want to be another Bill Nye, says, says uh, oh, these guys have so much health. So the bats have a ton of health. Except my lightning is super leveled, which is awesome. Um, and you say I want to be another Bill Nye, Nick. Um, I mean, more or less, that's the elevator pitch of what I'm trying to do. I'm, I, I want to have the impact of like a millennial Bill Nye. That's what I'm trying to get to. Not because I want to be rich or famous. You know, that would be sick, nasty. But if I want to be... I've talked about this many times. But I want to have the impact that he had and be the teacher that I had growing up. Because if I'm good at, at teaching or, or informing or educating, 
I should do it. Because I got very lucky with great teachers. And not every kid gets a great teacher. I can help with that problem. Ah, no! Okay, so now... These bats are gonna start doing a lot of damage. Now I have to actually start running away! But this lightning doing work. Like I said, at 11 minutes, a sea of bones will appear before you. Shortly before that, I'll be surrounded by plants. Oh yeah, that lightning can work. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would love a floor chip. I would love a floor chip. Oh, this is now surrounded by plants. I usually escape these plants, take some damage. I'd like some floor chicken. But Kyle, the Lambo. No, 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 I, it's, it's still fully... It shows Kyle, says Captain Dagon. Dagon, I appreciate you. You know I see in, I see everything you do in the Discord, on the channel. I appreciate it. All the work that you've helped me out with. Um, you need Duplicator and Spellbinder. I haven't actually found those yet. Um, because I uh, didn't... I've only done a couple levels so far. Um, Kyle, did you make it to 25 minutes? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know I did. Kyle Hill with the science thrills. Who? 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 Uh, Joey Zoom, but the Lambo. It is fully my intention to have a Lamborghini at some point, but that's not a priority. A lot of kids get very successful, have big YouTube channels or Twitch channels, and they immediately spend 250 grand on something. No, 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 no. I invest in my team, I invest in my editors, um, my equipment, I pay my editors very well. Um,. Full wage, full time job, with benefits, health care, 401ks. Um, right now it's about building. I don't have a house. Or, I don't have the next level of my living situation. So, uh, I have a facility, I don't have a house. So, I the, the next level is. You gotta, you gotta prepare for that. You gotta save for that. Don't blow it all, all on a car. Even though... I want to. But I never drive anywhere. I just stay here at the facility. I, I literally... I have a car I've owned since graduating college. With 80,000 miles on it. Sins Arcade says, Your integrity is resolute and your community and fans applaud your commitment and dedication. Thank you for being part of our lives for the last decade. Holy shit. A decade, huh? We've been doing this a long time. And what we've done has evolved a lot. I've changed a lot. Go look at my old videos on Because Science. I sound different. I look different. I approach the world differently. And now, completely own business, doing whatever we want to do here at the facility. Because I'm the administrator, as you know. 11 minutes, bone time! Oh, I didn't know I had the cross upgraded all the way. <laughs> Let's do it. Autocorrector Freudian slips is uh, Blake Murphy. Don't just don't worry about it. You have now entered the Bone Zone. That's actually a level in this game. It's called the Bone Zone. I don't have to worry until about 12 minutes when the high health enemies show up. Welcome to the Bone Zone! <laughs> what are we, an episode of CSI Miami? Hmm. Yes! Hard work paying off! Now, when I first played this game, I couldn't get past 15 minutes on this level, so let's see. Because I've been, I haven't been paying attention to what we've been doing. I've been paying attention to what we've been doing, so uh, this build may not get me past 15 minutes. We'll see. But I'm leveling up like a mofo. Floor chicken? Floor chicken? Yes!
I was watching your video on the invisibility screen and you mentioned about being English. You moved to the States then, I assume? Uh, says Nick, no, 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 um, the creator of the invisibility, invisibility shield is, um, is English, not me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Now, this, when the werewolves show up, this is where I could very quickly die. Because they're all about to all be pushed into me. And I can't avoid them. But we'll see. I have high level book, full level book, full level lightning, full level garlic ball sack, <laughs> and full level cross. We'll see. This is actually pretty good. Better than my, uh, my garlic stinky boy when I did it, so let's see. This lightning is wiping them out. Yeah, I haven't found the duplicator, so I can't upgrade my lightning. Is that correct? I think so. Um, what up spinach upgrades that? Uh, yeah. Werewolves in this economy? Says Jason. Jason, do you, do you even know what you're saying sometimes? Uh, there we go. Spinach, and then... It's time to get the flaming flame balls of death. Yes. Hellfire. Unleash. Yes. This is so much better than I do with the other guy. Chat, did, did I, oh no. See, this is when the werewolves get pushed into me and they do like instant damage. Did I stumble upon a good build? Oh god, 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 oh god. Maybe not. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Help me, Bible! Dang! Push them back! Yes. I need some Santa water is what I need. Yes. Die! Damn it. Uh. What do I get here? What do I get here? Are flame balls wheels? Everyone shut up. I will say that after there's, unless Vsauce has done this stupid video, I think doing a video with Fermi estimations, which we've talked about before on the channel, um, Fermi estimation of are there more doors or wheels in the world would make a decent episode. Um, what do I go for here? Oh, the Death Scythe. What does the Death Scythe evolve with? Candelabra. Okay, let's try that. I'll try to go axe and find a candelabra. Claw chicken! Spinach. Uh, am I doing enough damage? Yeah, let's do more damage. Push them back. Floor chicken. Yes. Now the bats have a crazy stupid amount of health. If we can push them back, then we should be good. Where is it? No. Stay back. Stay back. You can't hurt me. Stay back. I'll, I'll, I will follow the flaming balls of death like an ambulance. Yes, that way. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I was trying to meme it. That's my fault. Oh. So usually on this map, can't make it past 15 minutes if I don't do it correctly, so let's see. Are book covers doors? Yes, doors to the imagination! Oh! Dicey here. Could really go for some floor chick. Ooh, I missed a box. Nice. Cool down to make my books go quick. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, okay, okay. So now my garlic's upgraded. Good. 
the life, the soul eater. Should replenish my life a little bit. This is looking pretty good, chat. Again, I apologize if my voice sounds weird. I have allergies for the first time in my life. Like, consistently. It's very irritating. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good with this AoE, man. Take that. Yep, Candelabra. Last thing we need. Well, not the last thing. Nice, you're still on. I just finished the previous stream, says Wecky. See, that's the advantage. See, I like that. I, that's the advantage. If you didn't have time to watch Office Hours Live, come catch Kyle when we're unwinding and gaming and talking about science while we're doing it, and may I say, to looking damn good, too. Okay. Chat, we're gonna finish whatever happens in this level. We probably will be done afterwards. So let's go out with some science and some style. Now let me remind you, this is Vampire Survivors. If you're enjoying it, it's only like three bucks on Steam. It's very fun, very addictive. Uh, statistically, there's millions of different builds you can do. The objective is to survive as long as you can. The music is good, the visuals are fun, it's very addicting, I recommend it. Yes. Praying mantises can't get this big because they breathe through holes in their side called spiracles. And so, this must be a weird vampire planet with more oxygen in the atmosphere. I don't know what to get for the last thing. Cause X. I upgraded that, that, that. I'll just get, I'll just get lucky. Oh, base damage up. We're only halfway through this level, isn't that insane? With all this crap that I'm doing. I need to level up the axe though, that's so to keep all these bugs away from me. Yes, clear a path, my hellfire. Since I've been forced back into the office, I rarely catch you after hours anymore. You're, you mean hour, uh, office hours? That's fine. You can always check the VOD. I always appreciate it. In fact, it's, um, watching it after the fact is also incredibly valuable to the channel. High live viewership is good, but also high viewership after the fact is something that you want to maximize. And if, you know, if Office Hours does well after the fact, after it's live, it encourages me to do, to be more, to be consistently putting out a good version of it. Someone asked about, can all orbs just come to you? Yes, this item. To me! We're doing good here, I'm feeling, feeling pretty confident right now. We have evolved everything. Almost, except for the axe, and that will get us our death site. We need, oh, our axe isn't even close to evolved yet, so this will be good. We still have one fully evolved weapon to do in 10 minutes. Oh, my neck. <laughs> Mantids, like the mantis shrimp, would be horrifying at Labrador size or larger. Pretty weirdly specific, says Sin's Arcade. Um, oh yeah, no, I... If, if insects or arachnids were at the at our size, like human size, there'd be no way we're at the top of the food chain, you know what I mean? A lion-sized scorpion? Are you, are you kidding me? Remember, chat, whatever happens, at the end, if I die, or if we finish, might be finished today. But what I want you to do, before that happens, if you've enjoyed me coming straight from office hours to do a weird indie game that, I, that is a lot of fun, like the video. Just go ahead and like it. 
the gaming channel is a new thing. Um, I want to do more of it, and I want to entertain and educate you as much as humanly possible. That means doing three or four separate things every week. Um, and I think it would actually be really... <laughs> It'd be a nice flex to have multiple plaques for multiple channels that aren't because of it. I think that would be fun. You know, just, we're always growing, we're always evolving, we're not stopping, chat. That's what I'm getting at. That we continue, we don't rest on our laurels. Dummy thick, though they may be. We keep going. We don't stop. This build is not bad. Dude, this game is the best just like you, says Nick Blair. It's incredibly fun. Um, once you kind of work out the build you're trying to go for, seeing everything come to fruition and just annihilate how many? 15,000 enemies so far? Oh! And then suddenly crap like that happens. Where these bats are trying to come in. And as they try to come in, they push all the other higher health enemies near you. And then you have to... Hey! hey. hey. Except my lightning is slaying. But I haven't actually found the... Where do you... Chat, where do you, uh, people play this game? Where do you find the item that evolves your lightning ring? What level is that? Because you, I don't think you can find it on the ground until you find it in wherever it's uh, originally located, right? Where is it? Like me, because science is a bunch of BS, but Kyle Hill is great, says Buster. Look, uh, don't misconstrue my words. Like I said uh, in the previous uh, on office hours very proud of everything that I did at Because Science. Um, did it for five years, every single week. Made me who I am, the reputation that I have, gave me the ability to go to the facility and, and do well. Um, but, uh, I left Nerdist and I'm not there anymore. So we're doing new things. You can always do new things. <laughs> Look at this AoE, it's nuts. Uh, the duplicator which required getting the magic wand to level 7. Got it. So, I don't have space for a magic wand right now. But I will do that eventually. <laughs> Feel pretty good about this. the size of that axe. It's the size of this man's body. Which means no matter what metal it's made out of, it's 30, 40, 50, you know, it's upwards of 30, 40 pounds. Which means it's impossible to use. Say hi to Dan Casey first, please, says Sins Arcade. Absolutely. Dan is, is, and always has been, and always will be a great friend of mine. Um, we text each other almost, you know, almost every day. Sharing memes. We're pretty good about this build. We do need that axe upgrade. One more axe. And then a chest, and we will be zapped. This chat is chill. I like this chat. It says, phobic. Phobic, if you like this chat, our chats are always chill. Um, but if you like this chat, you would love the Discord as well. Go to patreon.com slash kylehill at the $6 tier and up. You join the Discord. Almost nearly a thousand nerds in there 
doing everything from talking about their pet tarantulas to sharing um, news stories that they find interesting to just memeing. And there's so many emojis in my face that you can use. Axing up in Axe Town. So... Oh, everything's upgraded. So we just need a, a chest. Now what do I now what do I put in this last slot? Let's survive, right? Um hmm. Hmm. Let's hmm. Let's survive. Let's survive. Let's end this stream on a high note with a random character that I've never beaten this level yet. The goal chat is to get to 30 minutes. That's only 8 minutes away. Yes, but with every passing minute, the number and quality of enemies radically multiplies, as you see. I just need a chest from this bat. I should get my death sight to cut through enemies like a swath of frightened wheat. In one moment. Don't you want to focus on health? Reducing damage, increasing health. Same thing if I don't get hit, right? I mean, that didn't make any sense. Death sight time. Watch this. Yes! I've almost upgraded everything, so for the last, like, five minutes of this, I'm just gonna have to rely on my weaponry. Because I don't have anything else to upgrade. Hmm, interesting. See, that, see, see, now that's not the best play, right? Thank you for the sub. That's not the best play, right? In the previous level... We got the bird upgrade, which freed up a slot, which meant we could upgrade one further item. Now, all of my items are filled. I don't... All of my items are filled, so I can only get coins at this point. Which means if the enemies get substantially harder, I'm not going to be able to defeat them. So we'll see. I wish these stupid plants would go away. I don't even need to get these plants. It's just, okay, so now everything is fully upgraded, and now it's just going to be coins. By the way, you are awesome to Joaquin Gago. Jason. Ooh. Jaska T. I caught the stream. Yay. You sound like a DD character. I like it. Jaska, you caught me at an amazing time. Where I'm basically not even playing this game. I'm so intelligent. We played this so well. Like the god gamers we are. Our planning and forethought is playing the game for us. And now, we sit back, we hope this orchid woman doesn't get within our zone of death, and we see if we can make it to 30 minutes using the decision making and quick reflexes that got us here. How is a scythe better than an axe? Um, range? Because it pulls objects towards the blade and doesn't move it away, right? So it's probably more of a more usable cuttable, more more cut, more usable surface. I don't know. I'm talking out of my ass, man. I don't know. Maybe. Like, did you know, for example, um, there's a specific part of a chainsaw right on the tip. On the on the underside, which is the best cutting point on a chainsaw. That has a lot to do with how the chain is moving, the angle of attack, all that kind of stuff. But you want material to be moving out of the way. You don't want the chainsaw to kick back into your face 
I used to work with chainsaws when I uh, did... Uh, I was an arborist for a summer. Climbing into trees and cutting down stuff. Chat, did we plan this build so amazingly? We didn't do it randomly. Shut up. Did we plan this build so amazingly that now our vast supreme intelligence will defeat this level for us without us lifting a fingy? Are there any other interesting facts that you don't know, says Blake Murphy? Um, yes, by definition. If I did know them, that means I know everything. And I don't. You know a big blind spot in my scientific knowledge? I don't know much about plants. I just don't. I was interested in other things when I was a kid. Hmm, that was probably a mistake. I don't need these upgrades. I'm just getting coin bags. <laughs> so, so the only thing I can do now is collect floor chicken and money. Um, what a sentence. Uh, but I'm relying on my AoE here to get me to the end of this level. What can still happen is that if the enemies make it really close to me, I might still have to dodge them until enough damage is dealt to them that they die. Um, oh, we'll see. We'll see. It's looking pretty good right now, chat. I want, if Floaters is still here, I want... Floaters is still here, I want you to gaze upon my brilliance. My intelligence almost has its own gravity. Okay, so these are- now all of these are bosses. All of these are super high health boss bats. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> look at- look at all this shit on screen. I love it! I love it. It's so satisfying to me. Can we make it 90 seconds, chat? Keep in mind, this isn't as easy as it looks. We've stumbled in- we- we didn't stumble. We have created a- a good build, so this looks easy, but I'll tell you, I played this game for like 10 hours before I got to the end of the first level, because I had to really start thinking about what weapons to get, and what not to get, and what to upgrade, and when, and why, and all that stuff. Um... Yeah. Look at those beautiful damage numbers. It's tower defense and you're the tower. I know, I like it. 55 seconds, chat. The walls are closing in. Still looking good. They're not getting anywhere near us. See, the lightning is doing damage to the outside while the scythe is doing damage. They're, they're compressed in a ring of death and destruction. 30 seconds, we're looking good, chat. Loaders, if you're watching, feel free to take notes. <laughs> we are so smart, we're playing the game without even playing the game. Our intelligence is right. Really. Five seconds. This is better than when I did it the first. I, this I did this random. That was I did that. That's the best. That's the best run of this level I've ever done. And now I'm dead because of that. Oh, yo! Chat, that was a lot of fun. That was actually the best uh, version of that level I ever played. Death Spiral, putting in the a crazy amount of work. Three million damage. And the highest DPS. Um, chat, if you enjoyed this, like the video now. Uh, we have to get back to doing more of the gaming channel, so that'll help incentivize us to do more of the gaming channel if you want to see what we do for a day job at the facility. 
you can go back to the main channel where uh we're actually putting up chapter two of our chernobyl adventure this week check out the latest episode of office hours which just went up live we that was a good stream you made me feel like an insane person by the end of it so watch me collapse in real time as always if you want to continue on this conversation you're going to go you can go to patreon.com slash kyle hill and join the facility and hear my blabbering today we have thousands of people in there chatting on discord seeing videos early getting behind the scenes videos like bloopers um this that and the other thing but no matter where it is, I see you next, whether it's on the next video, the next gaming stream, the next office hours. Whew. Two streams back to back, feeling pretty good. But now, work-life balance, it is time to relax. I hope you have time to relax, time to take care of yourself today, tonight, this morning, tomorrow, whenever it is. Take care of yourself. And until I see you next time, be nice to each other. Because this is all we got. See you next time.